It's hard to tell that this was a shopping center. But when you get closer, there are signs. Russia admits it fired missiles yesterday, but says they only landed nearby, and then a fire spread here, to what it claims was an empty building. Everyone we met today said all that is lies. I saw the fire and uh, a lot of people from here, from here, uh, just running. Danny was in his coffee shop opposite. You're running to a safety place and uh, listen uh, children's uh, girls <laughs> a lot of screams as we finish talking another warning well, the sirens are blaring once again the emergency services are continuing their work everyone else though is now trying to take shelter wherever they can there's a bunker close by inside we find the man responsible for the security of Ukraine. Your country has had four months of Russian attack. We're talking in an underground bunker. There's another alert at this moment. When does this stop? How can this stop? Uh, I think it should be a Putin death. By our efforts or by efforts of Russian people. And do you think Putin's death will be soon? I hope it. A short drive away, they were treating the injured from yesterday's attack. <laughs> Sales assistant Maxim tells us there were about 100 customers in his store, but doesn't remember anything after the strike. His wife, Victoria, though, can recall everything. She explains that she called her husband, who said he was trapped in the fire and smoke and couldn't escape. But somehow, he did. Russia claims its missiles actually hit this nearby factory because it was storing American and European military supplies. So he asked the Ukrainian emergency services if we could visit. Mm -hmm. Russia says that there were weapons and ammunition from Western countries in this factory. Is that true? Absolutely not. It is a place for making road equipment, machines for road construction. There is also a greenhouse nearby where the workers grow cucumbers. Back at the shopping center, we're invited inside to witness the destruction. Well, we've just been told that this area was home to a number of different shops, a pet shop, a pharmacy over there, a toy shop, and it was in this place, just around here, that they found the greatest number of bodies. They say they recovered 11 people. G7 leaders say the attack on this shopping center was a war crime. Ukraine says it's terrorism, and Russia continues to claim that it doesn't target civilians. Nick Beek, BBC News, Kremenchuk.